Question type, vocabulary and reference. During the reading section, you may have to determine the meaning of a vocabulary word or phrase. On the one hand, it may be a difficult word that you've never seen before. On the other hand, it may be an easier word that you often see in everyday English. Whatever the case, you will need to determine the meaning of the word by using the context to help you understand. Observe an example when you're being asked to determine the meaning of a difficult word. In this type of question, you are not expected to know the meaning of the word. Instead, you will need to use the context surrounding the word. Since the context indicates that a volcano erupted without warning, and since the eruption was explosive, you can guess that the most likely meaning of searingly is intensely, especially as it relates to hot ash and gas. Searingly means very hot, and intensely means existing to an extreme degree. Observe an example of when you're being asked to determine the meaning of an easy word. In this case, the word may be used in an unusual way, so you should use the context surrounding the word in order to get a sense of the meaning of the word. In this case, it is possible that tipped could mean to weigh, give money to, or to lean or tilt. It is not until you have read the context surrounding the word that you understand which meaning is most accurate. Since the context indicates that a battle was tipped in favor of Kamehameha due to a natural disaster which killed many of the opposing army, you can guess that tipped means to lean or tilt. Thus, answer choice C best expresses the same meaning that the context indicates. Test taking strategy. Number one, you can identify this type of question by the word or phrase X is closest in meaning to, or it might say the word or phrase X could best be replaced by. Two, you can find the answer to this question by looking at the context surrounding the word or phrase. If you are asked about the meaning of an easy word, the best answer might be an answer with an unusual meaning. Three, you can answer a vocabulary question by following a few simple steps. A. Find the word or phrase in the passage. B. Read the sentence that contains a word or phrase carefully. C. Look for contextual clues that may give you a sense of the meaning of the word. And D. Choose the best answer according to the context.